Hello English 10. This is a video in which I'd like to talk through one of the very well written inquiry reports that I received in a previous course. And the purpose of doing this is to show you what I'm looking for, what I notice as a reader, but more importantly, what the genre requires. This is a report on South Korean women's obsession with beauty and the measures that they will go to in order to be beautiful and why that's important in their society. So it starts off with a unique title, The Life of Beauty, and gives the context, the status quo, very quickly. South Korea has an insatiable appetite for the perfection of beauty, laden with innumerable clinics to satisfy customer appeals to their natural appearance. The perfect body is within one's reach. So the status quo is stated right away. This is stating the conclusion of the inquiry as the introduction. Continues. Thousands of beauty products packaged in sleek, shiny bottles rave about whitening properties and exotic ingredients. This is a society driven by desire to meet the beauty standards set for everyone. But how do these beauty standards define the everyday lives of South Koreans? So again, there's more context provided and the primary inquiry question listed right here. Then I notice that we have a headline, a subheading, a title that is characteristic uh, as a text feature of an inquiry report. I would also point out before I move on, the word choice in this first section is really appealing. Words like sleek, shiny bottles, there's some alliterative quality there, but some specificity that also makes this an appealing report. So continuing from Beauty Basics. In the United States, children are taught that beauty is what is on the inside or in the eye of the beholder. Semicolon also that people should love themselves for who they are. And actually the semicolon doesn't need to be there, side point. South Koreans on the other hand, there's a transition, have a very specific definition of what is beautiful. For girls, big eyes, a high bridge nose, and a small face are all key points to a perfect face. And bone one is the reference here with the period after the citation. Clear, dewy skin representing youthful healthiness can be sported by K-pop idols and drama stars. The much sought-after body types have an X-line and or an S-line. It goes on about different types of body shapes, and there is then a um, picture of what these different body shapes are. It then transitions from this introduction to different body shapes with a question, how do you even begin to satisfy these expectations? And the answer? beauty products, and plastic surgery. You'll notice very short paragraphs following this as well. Many beauty products are available to the public to enhance one's features. Gleaming packages of skin foundation advertise using snail secretion and to have whitening or anti-aging properties. However, there's a transition, Karen Callahan, an English teacher currently living and working in South Korea, explained that these aren't just beauty projects, products, they're a sign of status. And this was an interview conducted, and only these small words, sign of status, were chosen as the interview quote. So this is a perfect example of blending. These products, however, aren't the only rage currently creating a beauty uproar. So there's a nice transition talking about these types of packaging skin foundations to another type of beauty intervention. And she continues, Plastic surgery takes the cake when it comes to ultimately obtaining the body one desires. Two of the most popular procedures are rhinoplasty, nose jobs, and blepharoplasty, eyelid surgery. Double eyelid surgery is so common among South Korean women that to most people, it isn't even considered a surgical procedure. When it comes to having big eyes, most Westerners think that Asians want to look more Western. However, there's a transition here, many more variables come into play than just that. And as we continue, you'll see that there is a, another text feature, an image placed here with a caption on that image, and another subtitle, Why Change Your Appearance? These are all the options that women have. Why do this? And that's a logical flow from the discussion of what you can change. And she continues, If having surgery meant getting a much-awaited career break, would it be worth the hassle? Some see getting double eyelid surgery as a rite of passage, while others feel pressure to get the procedure done because it's a family expectation. Most would think that family is supposed to love and accept all members for being themselves. This is just what Annie Kim thought, 
Okay, so right now we're transitioning to a specific human being's example, a specific experience with our topic. And then we're going to go from there into some quotations. Telling the story. However, the summer before entering college, Kim's mother thought it, quote, was the prime time to get the, the surgery. And she uses here brackets to show the word that she's using of clarification, what kind of surgery. And she's using quoted in and the reference chow for. So she's correctly done the citation for a quotation taken from a source written by another person. She continues with the quotation. She felt that, quote, as a mother, she was supposed to encourage her and love her. No matter how Kim is, she's supposed to be the one who says Kim's beautiful. Again, she's using brackets to clarify and make the sentence blended into her own text. Then she transitions. Not everyone wants a double eyelid procedure for cosmetic appeal. Others, like Ji Won Kim, had more serious health concerns for going under the knife. When she got out of college, again, she's transitioning with another specific person's example. When she got out of college, quote, she began getting intense headaches. Pressure would build behind her eyes and near her temples. To cure the topsis, drooping eyelids, she opted for blurfarofasty. And again, there's, this should actually be brackets, but she's trying to add some clarification here. When speaking of Asia, one often hears about how Asians tend to excel in academics. However, grades and degrees aren't all they're jazzed up to be. When it comes to getting the job or into top universities, not only must someone have the right qualifications, they must also look the part. So there's some justification here. Appearance is everything, semicolon. Consequently, there's a nice transition, uh, conjunctive adverb. Appearance equates to social status, so, quote, you must endure pain to be beautiful. Again, using that quoted in San Hong Four. And this, she, um, really, the, the person, the writer should have introduced who the speaker was, but has correctly used it quoted in to reference that source. As Vita Reed stated, the cost doesn't matter because it gives more satisfaction than money can buy. Again, using that quoted in. And here's the source of the, the quotation here. All of these in short paragraphs, all of these with specific quotations, one of the things that makes this really a strong paper. And then there is an excerpt here of a quotation, or excuse me, of a conversation between two Korean women and continues on toward the end. Um, go on, to many, being unique is terrifying. There has been an official statement from the South Korean government that there are no gays in the country. How could this be? Well, it is actually quite simple. Gay is not normal. The idea seems absurd to most, but coming from such a homogeneous society, one can understand this abstract claim. If someone sticks out from the crowd, they may be subject to, it, to being a target for gossip and not being accepted in certain areas of society. Now, really, as I'm looking over this, I was, I was momentarily jarred going, wait a minute, why are we talking about gays in the country when the whole point was beauty? Uh, so it could be made by saying, you know, really we need to wrap this up here with a reference to why we need to pursue these beauty treatments to not be different, just like gays don't want to be different. But if I were editing the paper, I might take this part out. She then goes on, references this movie again, trying to show why this is important. In the comedic movie, 200 Pounds of Beauty, an extremely overweight Korean girl named Hannah goes through an even more extreme, complete plastic surgery makeover. The company works for, Hannah works for simply takes advantage of her beautiful voice but refuses to show her to the public. Instead, another girl portrays Hannah by lip syncing while the real Hannah is backstage doing the singing. She is constantly reminded and harassed for how overweight she is, showing how Korean society can be a dogfight when it comes to one's appearance. And this probably would be better evidence in showing why it is that Koreans care about beauty rather than the, the gay argument above. And there's again a text feature in here, a poster for this movie and a caption, but she summarizes what the point is. This obsession with a uniform society directly influences each and every South Korean life. Attempting to reach South Korea's standard of beauty truly makes one's appearance a lifestyle. And that is the conclusion for the paper. And so she's saying basically here that beauty matters, which is what she started with all the way up at the beginning of the paper here. The, the perfect body and the perfect beauty do matter for everyone. 
So very well done paper. Well, again, just note that the use of quotations, specific examples, the text features like those headings and those pictures, short paragraphs, and a focus on answering questions. So use this as another model as you are doing your own paper. I look forward to seeing what you come up with.